Hey, welcome back for one more. The third mission. With the artifact secure, you need to wait for transport at Backwater Station before you can leave Marsara. Transportation is on the way. Caution is advised. Dominion security forces may succeed in tracking the artifact to the station. I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we gotta do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure we earned ourselves a little R&R. &R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures landing at the abandoned dig site. I should have known it. Damn Titus. I swear, man, I didn't know nothing about no Zerg. Given their current course, the Zerg will overrun this location within the hour. Yeah. We gotta hold out long enough for extraction. If we man the bunkers and hold those two bridges as long as we can, we just might stand a chance. We're going to have a real fight on our hands here. I've been in plenty of holdouts before. Not against a Zerg, you ain't. Well, you know, <clears throat> personally, I think Tychus is right. It's going to be a little bit of R&R. &R. It's, it's really not that hard. It's not one of those ones. The, the hardest ones are the ones where you have to be precise on your timing. You can't wait too long. But this one is just like, it's simple. All right, so here we go. Reactor and tech lab. Then you salvage these two and bring all the marines up. That's what you do. We're not holding the bridges, it's a waste of money and time, so don't even bother. And start pumping out some SCVs, of course. Never forget about SCVs. And basically, what you're after is you're after getting a handful of medics and, uh,. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's it's it, this one's really easy it's easy too. Uh, just fill up the bunkers as well. Um, you don't need to put anyone beside it right now. Missile turrets are not a huge priority for this mission either. I just put two guys on this, and you know, there you go, first medic. May also want to get. Uh, I may also want to go offline just for a second. Busy. Anyways, um, pumping up marines is also definitely a good idea. Bunkers are great though for tanking, uh, you know, preventing them from getting too far. Whoops. Sorry. Let's see if we bring this guy in. This is Zerg. Yeah, I'm really worried right now. They're gonna take out the turrets, you know, at least it just slows them down a little bit. You know, who cares really? And we gotta still. SCV is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Keep bringing them out. But seriously, these guys are not a concern. It's it's extremely brutal. What can I say? To anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near Backwater Station. Please assist. All right, you get the first group here, and you gotta start heading that way. Start doing research in weapons because weapons are probably the best thing for infantry because there's so many little marines, and ha like it's like like plus twenty DPS right there, so. I don't really talk about DPS much, but, you know. And also keep doing SCVs. Thought we were gunners there. Yeah, so did I. I also want to bring an SCV up at this point, just to keep repairs going. You know, if you play it right, you can easily, easily, easily get uh, 200, 200 food worth of uh, Marines and stuff. I'm gonna actually start making this reactor because uh, I supply cap myself completely by accident, of course. Multiple air bolts detected. ETA, right the hell now. And they're gonna go right straight into the bunkers, and guess what? Uh, Marines chew up and counter. You guessed it. Goodbye, Nitas. Alright, we can probably stop the gas harvesting. Yeah, we'll get that, and that's it. Alright. Still, you don't need the SCVs here too much. Just send them right back. And we'll go back onto that thing. Just to pump out three more medics. You don't need too many, as I said. Don't overdo it. Oh. Sorry, wrong. Damn it. There you go. I'm just clicking wrong. Uh, and we can also just queue up that uh, armor upgrade near the end and 
Not keep enough. pumping out more SCVs. It's it's really that simple. Uh, the doctor is in. I think we're also gonna have to. We we're almost at the point where we're gonna have not one enough. one dedicated guy not on making supply news. depots. Not we're not quite news. there yet. Because I still don't have a lot of minerals for not stuff. Enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. There you go. Now I have enough minerals. So about two more medics, and that will do that one. Yeah, I think this guy can just go back because I'm just I'm seriously running out of money. But that's why you build lots and lots of SCVs. For every mission, that's basically the, the main strategy. Make sure you have a good economy and have a good reinforcements coming in. Then you win brutal. Oh, he's right there. My bad. Alright, um, as I said, it's okay for you to leave your base here. Uh, nothing's gonna happen to it. And this guy can go do that. I'm gonna just... Yeah, just, just watch over, make sure nothing bad is happening to them. Medics should be in the back. Although they don't always like to do that. There you go. Thanks. Pretty simple. Okay. Uh, we don't need any more medics. We're good for that. So I probably could have brought them off a little earlier because I didn't realize I would still have 100 gas there. And now you just pump out marines like crazy and uh, win the game. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. It doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, I'm going to pump out one more SCV because I have an odd number of supply depots. Because the command centers are weird. Uh, well, there is one more rescue, actually, I didn't even notice. It's a one more bonus objective, uh, but you know, that one's pretty easy, too. Kind of t shows you the importance of bunkers, I guess, but you know, they're not that important. Well, they are very important later on if you want to have, like, good tanking. Other than that, not really. They just get killed right when they come up here. At this point, you may want to take off two SCVs. Because now we're starting to get into like the yellow health and stuff. They have auto repair already, though, and they should never get go off this uh, this bunker at no point. Like these missile turrets, uh, screw them. Because the thing is, it destroys the SCV that's on them. So why waste your money? And we'll just keep making just queue up some supply depots as well. And you can completely move out as like a, a, a full squad as well, and now you have the plus one and the uh, plus one armor. So it deflects like one piece of our, uh, one attack uh, point, so you know, on the Zerg, like I said, making several fast attacks. That's a good example of it deflecting it. It's probably one of the better upgrades to get. You just keep everything going. Okay, this is going to be muted soon, so let's split them up. There you go. Oh, it didn't lose a guy. And if you want, you can make the go SCVs go repair them. Although it's not really that important. Not just enough. keep your eyes out. I was just honestly going to let them die, but you know. <laughs> Might as well keep them alive. It's not that missile turrets are useless. They're actually quite useful, but it's just, it's just the fact that this mission is so marine heavy, you don't need them. Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Renner. It's, I'm having a very hard time. And you can see uh, they're massing up over there. This better be good. Once again, right into slaughter. You gotta feel guilty for them. Poor little zerglings. They died for nothing. And one banling, but it does. And keep these things coming out. See, you can't. You really can't make 200, 200. But you know, I'm I'm a little bit on the uh, more conservative side. What can I say? <laughs> okay. And remember, you can send the entire group. It won't matter. Uh, these guys count as the entire group. Not enough minerals. Looking forward to it. Oh, the spines are kind of deadly. You just do the move up thing, and it, it should be fine. And they'll get them from all sides too. Even get the other spine. Oh, lost marine. If, if you really, if you really honestly felt like it, you could just like go for that uh, that other objective, the one where you have to uh, 
Whoops. Let's just kill him. Alright, you get up here. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. Yeah, you come on. Some money there, but I don't really care. That's fine. Oh man, look at that. So many Marines. It's great at the end too. Oh wait. Oh no, no they don't need any help. All right. Um, now that's the that's pretty much the end for uh, for that. Uh, there's no no other thing to do here. But what I do like to do is I go bring out like five Marines here because they do attack your your mineral line, and I just like patrol them. That's basically it. Oh, the medic needs to kind of go here. Oh wait, they're attacking that. Oh, it's a good thing, the thing they killed it, because they just go right for my marine line, so why do I care? <laughs> Alright, put these guys right here. And put these guys right over here, so they get some of the guys while they're coming up. And another medic. Maybe maybe two medics here. Although I have no medics for the front line, I just realized. Oh wait, I have one, that's good enough. There you go. And there's banlings, but they die. The ending is great too, because it has this whole like cutscene and everything. Oh shoot, I'm actually gonna get supply blocked. No, I don't want that to happen. I need my supplies. Hurry up, you dumb SCV. I I've never actually reached 200, 200, but you know, there could always be a first time. But of course, that's not gonna happen now. Oh, here you go. Yeah, I'll just spread them out slightly. Having a good spread on the Marines is always a good idea. And they're going to have like this one final attack in the last minute, but you're not really going to see it that much because uh, they die really quick. Oh look, they're making spine crawlers. Alright, let's get rid of that. that. They didn't do that last time, actually. I mean, they're welcome to. I don't realize why they would. Ah. Look at those dumb things everywhere. All right, and then we just head back up here. Hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here soon. Yeah, it's extremely difficult. Thanks, Rainer. As I said, it's this is like brutal. Brutal starting is pretty easy when you know what you're doing. Uh, not too complicated. Not too not too variable. You know what to expect at this point. Uh, but it does get more difficult a little later, and you're, we're going to start seeing variations. Uh, I know they're building down there. I don't really care. Ah, uh, no, I do care. <laughs> Fuck out of here. They rebuild that, like, instantly. I don't even know why I bought... Oh, okay. No, don't lose my units. Oh, I lost a bunch of units. Wow, I lost a lot more that time. Well, that's why. That's what you get for venturing out of the base. Learn from my mistake. <laughs> But, okay, well, no 200 200 for me, but, you know, I'll get close. Unless I get, like, another... Another barracks or something. And, like, go for the mineral thing that was down there or whatever. Uh, it's still not still not that important. You can probably v make it change your build order so you can. And just pumping out Marines. And they're gonna keep coming in with their attacks. The Hydralisks are actually pretty strong. They they also have one one upgrades, so you know your thing just cancels it out. That's not that bad. Two thirty minutes. Not much I can say. This is this is actually reminiscent of the uh, StarCraft one level, the um, one where you have to hold out for thirty minutes. <clears throat> and there's the one that goes into the marine the the, the the harvesting line, but that's why I had the marines there. Not even a concern. And these Marines just take out those guys, and that's pretty much it. You got all the angles covered when you work like this. Buckers are still good just for DPSing. Uh, sorry, yeah, just for taking the, the damage. I guess tanking, still. So. Uh, it's not quite their final attack, but we're almost there. It's always fun just to have them all on the ramp there during the final attack. This is the final one. This is a lot of guys. Oh, I think it is actually. 
Alright, let me just bring them all like this onto the ramp. I mean, why not? Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. Take I'm sure it is. No rush. Yeah, we'll just go like this. Move back a little bit. I know I'm losing a little bit of them, but you know, I don't really care. 41 seconds, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> when you have like this many Marines, you don't care. Eggs aren't really doing their jobs though. Alright, let's move them all back up and go down. Make it slightly harder for them. Let's see how many I lose. Oh wait, wait, they're starting to break through. Well, they've been doing it this entire time, but you know. Who really cares? <laughs> it's because these Hydras are just left untouched. Alright, well, we win. Well, these are awesome. And then they all are on the ramp. And they're, he's firing lasers at my Marines. Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the park. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. Hey, yeah, it could have been another hour or so. <laughs> hey, they stopped attacking each other. Alright, well, uh, there is one thing that you're not supposed to salvage a structure. Um, I don't really care about that. Uh, the, the hatcheries is when you go out and actually go get them, which is, uh, you know, not the best idea. Uh, do it on the difficulty it says. It's it's rather difficult. And you just follow basically the same strategy. Make a lot of marines. And then you can move out with that to take the, out the hatcheries. And you have to go go about it in order. And they actually they actually don't spawn units uh, when you do that. It's kind of interesting. But I wouldn't recommend that on Brutal. You've been holding out on me. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all Outer Rim plants. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet Mother Mercy. Exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. We always knew she'd be back, but what's she after? She's come to finish the job. <laughs> what were we doing in the 14 minutes? I'll never know. Brushing her teeth. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as... Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir.
Home sweet home. Alabama. One hell of a ship you got here, Jimmy. How'd you get a hold of a floating palace like this? The Hyperion was Meng's flagship back in the day. Me and Matt decided to borrow her when we parted company with him. This old baby's seen us through some tight spots. Speaking of tight spots, Tychus, why are you still wearing that suit on my bridge? Yeah, what'd you bust the zipper or something? Okay, so I might have had a little help when I broke out of prison. Let's just say it came at a price. I get to stay locked up in this suit till I pay off all my debts. And who's collecting those debts? Who sprung you? The Mobius boys, of course. I didn't just run into them in a museum, you know. They want them artifacts something fierce. Your debts better not bite us in the ass, Tychus. Covering for your shenanigans ain't part of the deal. Just how bad is it, Matt? Zerger attacking all over the sector, sir. Manx pulled the fleet back to protect the Dominion core worlds, leaving the fringe worlds to fend for themselves. It's a nightmare. There's no way we can stop an alien invasion with one capital ship and a handful of volunteers. Best we just stay clear, partner. We can earn ourselves a fortune working for Mobius while this whole thing blows over. You don't get it, convict. This isn't gonna just blow over. The Zerg won't stop until we're all dead. Don't worry, Matt. We ain't sitting this one out. But we're not exactly in tip-top shape, either. We'll earn some cash and build up our forces so we can make a difference when it counts. Okay. <clears throat> uh, sir, any chance you'll get the lab up and running soon? That'd be great. Uh, we're going to head down to the armory. Hey, everybody, our glorious leader has returned. <laughs> hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standing forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for the tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. Okay, well, the first thing we're after is going to be the armory console. And here we go. Uh, so we have um, we have this one, which is actually fantastic, but unfortunately we cannot use it as our first upgrade. The Tech Lab Edition, don't even bother with it, because uh, uh, as much as double training medics is great, you're going to get that later on. This is a good starting ability, mostly because you don't get medivacs until much later. Um, I don't know. I'll see. Uh, I'll look into it a little bit further. Uh, having marines be good because you get these also on missions uh, where you know you, you the, the missions where you don't exactly have a base. Uh, so these are also kind of nice to have. Um, as for the base building, uh, you do have the increase the range of bunkers of units of bunker by one, which is not bad. And that you can also make them gain a two additional slots, which is also not bad. But uh, for now, I'd actually more prefer to focus on infantry. Um, so in this case, the stim pack is actually the best one. Uh, the combat shield can wait until another time. I don't know if we can afford something else. Oh, we can. We can increase the number of slots. I'm actually going to wait on that because uh, maybe we can we can get something into that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not that important right now. Uh, the Stimpaks having that is important right now, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much it, so I hope you guys are enjoying. See you guys later.